Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 5 is brought to you by examhere.com. No more fear from exam. Now we learn classifications of organic compound. Before we learn classification of organic compound, let's understand what is aromatic compound. So as the definition says, aromatic compounds are compound that contains conjugated planar ring. They have the planar ring and delocalized pi electron clouds. Please note, it has delocalized pi electron clouds and also these electrons are free to cycle around. These electrons are free to cycle around and they have alternatively single and double bond. And with this, they have more than one ring. For example, this is the benzene. They have taken an example. I'll draw more structures of benzene. The benzene, it, you can draw something like this. Both are structures of benzene actually. We will learn more about benzene. Just understand that benzene can have more structures. And these are two structures actually. And, and they are more structured so that, so we create, uh, when we draw structure, we draw a ring. Just to show that these electrons are free to move around. If you see the structure here also, each of this carbon, this p orbital, they form a ring. There is a dense electron cloud here. And these electrons roam around here. So if you see these, these electrons are free to suck around. And this gives extra stability because the more resonant structure you create, the more stable is the compound. That's the general rule. Right? So with this, you have more resonating structure and the electrons are delocalized, they are free to roam around, so they are more stable. Also, they have a good smell. Uh, so when you talk about aromatic compound, they have uh, 4 n plus 2 pi electrons um, as per Huckel rule. So if you see, uh, the, the number of electron, uh, delocalized electrons is nothing but 4 n plus 2 pi. So in case of benzene, n is equal to 1. So you put n is equal to 1, you get 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So if you see in benzene, they are three double bonds, so one double bond is nothing but uh, three pi bonds, one pi bond is nothing but two electrons, right? So you have six pi electrons. Also, you can see in this fashion also, in benzene, right, there are six pi orbitals. Each pi orbital will have one electron, so you'll have six pi electron. So you can see in either way, one pi bond, two electrons, there are three pi bonds, six electrons, or you can see that there are six pi orbitals. Each p orbitals has one electron, so there are six pi electrons. So the, the number of pi electrons should follow the Huckel's rule. That is, it should be 4n plus 2, where n can be any number from 0, 1, 2, 3 or so on. Correct? And as I told, these arenes have aroma. They have a good smell. And that's why they have been named arenes. So hope you understand what is aromatic compound. They have a planar ring system. And these electrons, these pi electrons are free to uh, move around in the circle. And this gives extra stability and a special uh, chemical property to Arene compounds. So let's start with the classification of organic chemistry now. So if you see organic compounds are classified into aliphatic and cyclic compounds. Aliphatic is something which has straight chains, right, like this. Example CS3, CS3 kind. Cyclics are one which are which has cycles. For example, benzene, or you can say you have cyclobutane or you can have tetrahydrofurane. All these are my cyclic compounds. Aliphatics are nothing but the one with the straight chains. Now since cyclics are very interesting, they are uh, classified as heterocyclic and homocyclic. In heterocyclic, uh, the atoms in the ring can be uh, non-carbon atom also. For example, this guy, right? tetrahydrofurane is one example of a homocyclic compound. We can take more example here, actually we can take one more here, we can take pyridine, right? So one more example here is pyridine with a ring. So one with ring, one without ring. Similarly, homocyclic, all these uh, uh, elements in the ring has to be carbon. So for example, I told benzene, all these uh, dots are carbon or cyclo, uh, Butane, here also all these are carbon actually, right? So if you draw cyclobutane, something like this. So each of these will be, I think, CH2. Right? Now, the homocyclic can be uh, again classified as uh, alicyclic and aromatic. Alicyclic is uh, something like this guy, cyclobutane, whose property is similar to aliphatic, right? And aromatic is like benzene, which has 
uh, 4n plus 2 pi delocalized electrons and they have smells and they are more stable. And then heterocyclic is again uh, classified as uh, alicyclic and aromatic. For example, in this case, my this guy tetrahydrofurane is my alicyclic because it doesn't have any uh, uh, 4n plus 2 pi electrons and they are not uh, uh, stable, that much stable, they don't have uh, delocalized electrons. But if you see this guy, uh, pyridine, it has this ring, right? So it is uh, stable and it is aromatic. And these guys, homocyclic aromatic compounds can further be classified as benzoid and non-benzoid. So we'll discuss all these things in details. This is just an overview where we see that organic compound is, has aliphatic and cyclic. Cyclic is more interesting. So cyclic, we have homo heterocyclic uh, with um, non-carbon atom also in the chain, uh, in, the, in the cycle. Homocyclic, which has only carbon in the, in the cyclic chain. You can have a uh, carbon atoms here and there, other atoms, for example here this is phenol, here we have um, oxygen here but in the chain it, it should be only carbon and then homocyclic is further classified as alicyclic and aromatic, alicyclic is, it, it is cyclic but it doesn't have properties of you know, uh, aromatic, it is, its properties are almost similar to aliphatic compound and then we have aromatic which has 4n plus 2 pi electrons which make it more stable and gives um, a smell, uh, aromatic smell, they are also called arenes. And similarly in heterocyclic also we have alicyclic and aromatic compounds and aromatic homocyclic is also uh, further classified as benzoid and non-benzoid. The one with benzene ring is called benzoid, the one without benzene ring is called non-benzoid. We'll discuss each of these in detail. Let's start with uh, the aliphatic compound. The aliphatic compound as I told they have straight or branch chain that's all. Example and they don't have any closed ring. Please note there is no closed ring. For example ethane if you see it's a straight chain. Correct. Isobutanol also if you see the branch chain, there is no ring. Acetaldehyde also if you see the branched thing, right? There is no ring. Acetic acid, there is no ring. So there is no ring, it's just straight or branch chain. It is called aliphatic compound. It can be straight, it can be branched, but no ring. For cyclic, there has to be ring. That's all. They should have a closed ring skeleton. That's the only requirement. For example, furane, there is a closed ring. Thiophene, there is a closed ring. Pyridine, there is a closed ring. Cyclopropane, there's a closed ring. Cyclohexane, there's a closed ring. Cyclohexene, there's a closed ring. Tetrahydrofurane, there's a closed ring. Aniline, there's a closed ring. Naphthalene, there's a closed ring. Benzene, there's a closed ring, right? But here, if you see, some of them has only carbon. Some of them has uh, oxygen, sulfur, and nitrogen as a um, atom, which is part of the chain. Some are uh, aromatic, some are non-aromatic. So we can further classify cyclic compound and that's why we have more examples here which covers almost all these uh, heterocyclic and homocyclic compounds because the cyclic compound the only requirement is it has to have closed rings all these should have all these has closed ring plus but they are different also some has non-carbon in the chain some has only carbon some has you know uh, aromatic some are non-aromatic so we'll further classify cyclic into homocyclic and heterocyclic let's learn homocyclic compounds what are homocyclic compounds these compounds have rings and these rings will have only carbon compounds. Carbon atoms. So if you see, homocyclic is a part of cyclic compound, so that it has to should have ring. And homocyclic the ring suggests homo is all same. That means the ring will have only carbon. So if you see in benzene, all these are just carbon. You take aniline, it's all carbon. You take naphthalene also, it's all carbon, right? Cyclopropane also, if you see, is all carbon. Cyclohexane also, if you see, is all carbon in the ring. It can have non-carbon atoms but in the ring it should have only carbon atoms. Further going down as uh, the part of homocyclic is alicyclic. So let's understand alicyclic. So these contains, since it is part of homocyclic, so it should have ring, right? And also it should have a ring with carbon atoms only. Now alicyclic will have extra feature that is the physical and the chemical properties of these compounds resembles with those of aliphatic compounds. They are cyclic, they have the ring but they don't have the chemical properties almost similar to aliphatic compounds and they don't have uh, delocalized pi electrons, right? They don't have extra stability because of resonance, they don't have anything like that. They're just cyclic. They don't have uh, extra pi electrons delocalized. So if you see cyclopropane, all carbon, their ring, but there is no extra pi electron. The properties are almost similar to aliphatic compounds. Cyclohexane also is one example where it has ring with all carbon, but the properties are almost similar to aliphatic compounds with no uh, 
pi electrons delocalized. The other is the aromatic, if you see. So in aromatic, since it is homocyclic, the first condition will be it should have uh, rings with only carbon atoms. But for aromatic, the extra condition is that they have aroma and they have 4n plus 2 pi electrons delocalized. So if you see benzene, so this has 3 into 2, 6 pi electron delocalized. Aniline 3 into 2, 6 pi electron delocalized. Naphthalene 5 into 2, that is 10 pi electrons delocalized. Right? They have extra stability because of that and they have aroma. Now, aromatic is further classified as benzoid if you see. So in benzoid, if you see, uh, are something which has the benzene structure. For example, this benzene is benzoid. Aniline has a benzene structure. So benzoid. Nethylene is a benzene structure. So it's all benzoid. The non-benzoid is one which is aromatic, but it doesn't have the benzene structure. For example, this guy, propylene, it has 3 to 2, 6 pi electrons. It, it, these electrons are, are localized actually. It can uh, move around here and there, right? But it doesn't have the benzene structure. So they are non-benzoid. Correct. So they are aromatic, they are homocyclic, they are cyclic, but they are not having benzene. Correct. Let's talk about the heterocyclic one. As the name suggests, hetero that means it can have uh, atoms other than carbon in the ring, right? So these rings can have atoms other than carbon also. For example, furan has oxygen. These are carbons, but it has oxygen also. Thiophane has sulfur also, apart from all the carbons here. Pyridine has nitrogen apart from these carbons. Similarly, tetrahydrofuran has oxygen apart from this carbon. Epiridine has nitrogen apart from these carbons. So they have non-carbon atom also in the ring. Right? This heterocyclic is again further classified into alicyclic and aromatic. So let's study alicyclic now. So in alicyclic, since it is heterocyclic, the first condition is that it should have ring which has atoms other than carbon also. The next condition is that it, its property resembles with that of aliphatic compounds. They don't have any uh, 4 and pi electrons delocalized. So if you see tetrahydrofuran, it has oxygen, it has all carbons, but it doesn't have 4 and pi electrons delocalized. Pipidine is also one example where it has carbon and nitrogen, but it doesn't have 4 and pi electron. Now let's study the aromatic one. In aromatic, if you see, the same condition applies. The first one, the rings can have atoms other than carbon. The second condition is that it has aroma and they have pi electrons delocalized. You see furan, it has pi electrons delocalized. Theophene has pi electrons declined. Pyridine has pi electrons delocalized. Right? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.